This week, from the internet, Super 7 is up to some monkey business with their TMNT Ultimates, but it's not what you think. Plus, you got Ecto-1 in my party wagon. Bam Toy Co. is hoping that Ghostbusters and Ninja Turtles will be two great tastes that taste great together. And Jazzwares drops a buttload of AEW reveals, literally. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt! It's too big to be a space station. It's the Reluctant Adult Podcast. Welcome to another episode of the Reluctant Adult Podcast. My name is Paul, and I am joined, as always, by the man who is absolutely bananas for these new Super 7 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle reveals, Bill! Hi, everybody. So much so, I want to legally change my name. To what? Gorilla Gorilla. (laughs) We're, we're going to get into that and all of the uh, controversies surrounding their choices in just a minute. But we have some breaking news in the world of, of toy collecting. We have unconfirmed firsthand reports that at least half of Collector's Crush is still alive. Yes. Located, the, located in the vicinity. Well, of you. No, we're not going to get we're not going to get any <laughs> into any more details. We just have we have unconfirmed firsthand report that the potentially at least half at least half of the duo that makes up Collector's okay. crush <laughs> is a lot fair enough so i know there was some questions about that because they just completely ghosted their uh channels yes um so if you if this brings you any any comfort to know that perhaps at least one of them is alive then that's that's what we were on to bring you that news um, <laughs> but maybe more news in the future who knows probably not but Good news for people who enjoy other people not being dead. All right. So back to uh, our top story of the week. Super 7. We've talked about them making these turtles before. You and I are not collecting them. We are not. No. Not really. We're we're giving them them away. But. (laughs) We did. We gave one away. Yeah. If we get them, we're just sending them out the door. I don't want this. (laughs) No. They, you know, they they fill a need. Clearly, they have enough fans because they've been doing these for a while now. Yes. Um, they unveiled a new set with a very diverse lineup. Right. So who who do we have in this in this new set? So we've made it through we've made it through the core turtles in their basic form. So sure. now we're moving on to sure. variant turtles mm-hmm. and secondary characters. So we have what is it? Punk Rock Donatello. We got Punk Rock Donatello. It comes with three heads. He's got the keytar that looks like it's wrapped like a mummy. I'm yep. not really sure. If that is that how the original one looked, I, I'd imagine it probably was in its single color form. Yeah. So th- this obviously flushes out the detail a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's supposed to be wrapped like his bow is wrapped. Maybe that's the idea. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I can really, see that. Really good. And then who else? We got um, we have a repaint technically, although there was a there was a original Playmates figure that looked like this. So they repainted the metal head to look like Michelangelo. So they're already sort of stretching, stretching those those molds a little bit. Yes. So you get to you get a chance to be a little bit more selective at this point. You don't have to buy the whole set if you already have. The original metal head. So this yeah. metal head was called something else, correct? Is this combat? I think metal it's Michelangelo. Head? Oh, is it Michelangelo? Like originally? Yeah. I think it I think they do call it Mi- Michelangelo. Oh, okay. So the original Don, original punk rock Don had a yellow guitar and it it is not wrapped at, at any way. No. So this okay, is a so this is... artistic an artistic choice yeah. made by whoever designed these. Okay, fair enough. Their and choice. I'm th- I'm just I'm making the assumption that it is based on uh, the wrapping of his bow staff, but we cannot confirm at this time. Um, and then we have some some larger figures yes. in this one. We have a Triceraton. Yeah. We have a uh, robotic Bebop, which is one of those late in the line Playmates figures. Right. 
And then we have possibly the most controversial. We have poss we have possibly the most controversial figure in this line to date. It is not Sergeant Bananas. It no. is Gorilla Gorilla yes. from Team NT Magazine, apparently. So completely out of left field there, you think? Right, because we were under the assumption that they were only doing figures that Playmates did originally in that original line. Right. So these are just sized up, heavily detailed, slightly more articulated right. versions of the original. Based on the toys, not even, yeah, based not even based on like yes. the show or anything, based right. exclusively on the toys. So now this blows that completely out of the water. Who knows what they can do? So far, this is what they've chosen to do, but maybe that's changing right. now. And, you know, putting these next so, to putting those three next to the figures that have been coming out, they are they are big. Yeah, big. Figures. They're very large. Yes. yes, they're so large, in fact, that Gorilla Gorilla is an extra twenty dollars compared right. to the standard TMNT Super 7 figure. Yes, but he comes with a ton of stuff. He's big. He he is so that we, we haven't we haven't really heard why they chose to go with this character and not do Sergeant Bananas because they're essentially the same character. They are. If you even look at that Playmates figure, he has a name tag on his his uniform that says Gorilla spelled like the first gorilla in Gorilla Gorilla. Right. OK. Yeah. Like Gorilla Warfare, that gorilla. Correct. So it'll it'll remain a mystery. The guy that sculpted these posted, uh, you know, digital sculpt. He posted them on Instagram and I asked the question and uh, we did not get an answer. So it may just no. be uh, preference again. Super seven. They they tend to do things that they like, not necessarily things that uh, I want to say make sense. Right. Um, so maybe they just it's one of them, Brian or one of the one of the designers just really had an affinity for this this character in this in this media. And it's like, you know what? We're going to do a big, big gorilla. Why don't we do gorilla gorilla? Yeah, everyone's expecting us to do Sergeant Bananas, but yeah, we're gonna throw him a left. We're gonna throw him a, a curveball yes. in the left field. Ooh, no baseball this year, but baseball metaphors are okay. <laughs> so we got those going on. Yeah, um, very exciting. We're not for the people that collect. We're not them. partaking. No, <laughs> for the people that collect them. Um, we'll continue to report I, on honestly, them, but. <laughs> Sure. I mean, they they're newsworthy. They I are. I think they look great. They're good to look at. This, yeah, this, they're very fun. Uh, I don't I don't collect NFTs, but if they sold a 3D version of of this this punk rock Dawn, I think I I would I would like to have it because yeah. it looks very nice. If if they were at I'm some not going to buy the actual figure. If they were at some point to put together a coffee table book with these figures in it, Ooh, I'd probably there buy you that. Go. That's a very good idea. Yeah, oh, I'm always a bigger fan of man. I should just take a picture of this because then I could look at it right. whenever I want and it won't take up any space. <laughs> yeah, but. you know, we just sort of explained NFTs. Maybe yes, someone from the NFT community should hire us to explain it to people. It's like, why do I want to have a digital version of this toy? It's like, well, if you don't have space for it. You always have it on your phone. Very true. But it's something about the environment or something. So we'll see. Um. Did you see this thing with Mattel in their Sunman pre-orders? Uh, no, I have not. Is this from the Mattel Direct to the Mat Maddie, not Maddie Collector, but yeah, Mattel Creations? Mattel Creations. So apparently if you pre-ordered the figure, you are getting an email that says, email us back to say you still want this or we're going to cancel your order. Oh, wow. So <laughs> Which is... Not a great business practice, um, no. because first of all, you made the pre-order, which right. is usually enough to say, I want this thing. Um, the fact that, you know, it's taken longer than expected. That happens a lot. It does. I think in the last year or so, we've become familiar. Yeah, we've grown accustomed to with it. These... So there's nothing, yeah. nothing out of the ordinary. Is this the right. is this the so... San Diego Comic Con one that they were expected to get that came out uh... for their their convention line? That included that scare that, glow. That would make 
That would make sense. Yeah. Because the other one's a mass release. I pre-ordered that one from Target. Right. Yeah. So this this was this was an exclusive the thirty dollar like fancy box. Right. Fold out box. Um, so this is not this is not for like the newer current media He Man. This is for the 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 retro looking figures. Yes, the origins figures. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't know what Mattel's been having some issues with their Mattel creation shipping because they also did a a new line of retro WWE figures that look like the old Hasbro figures. If you remember those from when we were when we were kids, yes, um, the line was retail a few years ago. There were problems. It went away. They brought it back. Mattel Creations. It sold out within a day. Some people already got them. Um, other people are getting emails saying it's delayed. So there's just lots of inconsistencies when you're ordering anything from Mattel Creations, yeah. which is uh, not not too unexpected considering the the past of uh, Mattel Direct sites. True. We all know what went on with Maddie Collector, and uh, there were there was always something going on there. It was never it was never. Uh, it was never a smooth sailing with Maddie. No, it was always it was always problems. It goes though a yeah. lot of it generally now. I mean, we're pre-ordering stuff so far out. You know, it's almost a gamble well, yeah. that we do get it. There's a lot of things can change right. within that span of time. I don't. I think I've lost count of how many open pre-orders I have for product. Yeah, because last year everything that went up for pre-order was expected at least a year out. Right. Like, I finally started to get some of the Power Ranger pre-orders. Like, I got Finster in the mail, oh, yes. the Amazon exclusive. Yeah, he's coming out. There's still, like, the Target the Target exclusive, the uh, the Ninja, Ninjutsu or whatever, Rangers, where they're in the, like, the hoods yeah. from the, the movie, but also the show. Those are out overseas. People have them. Right. But here in the States, we're getting them through Target. It's still not out. <laughs> True. <laughs> I don't think their expected date was was not... Uh, has not occurred yet, so it's not like they're late. It's just funny be- that these figures exist, but but they don't exist for us. Target has not pulled them over yeah. on their ships yet. We got going on with those those holiday edition Black Series figures, which is supposed oh, to be a right. previous year's drop. Which are now kind is that of in gonna, limbo. Are they going to push it? Are they going to push it to this holiday? Yeah. There's really no reason to drop them any sooner. Right. Well, I, you know, that that brings up a lot of questions about just like logistics, because remember, they had to do that with the Ghostbusters line, several of the items. Right. And it's like, how right. much of a how much of a logistical nightmare do you think Hasbro and their distributors had to put, go through in order to stop any of that product from reaching any of the stores? Like they allowed the plasma. Yeah, I don't know series, how they even did that. But I don't they just have them sitting in a warehouse somewhere. They must have. They must have. And there's still stuff that was supposed to come out that hasn't come out at all. I actually I watched For Ghostbusters. Yeah. yeah. There was a whole like slime slime containment and um creation playset. Oh because cause slime's such a big thing now, so you could create your own sure. ectoplasm. Even with the Fright Features figures, I only saw the kids at at Walmart. Right. Yeah. And never... just that once. I saw them at Target. So I don't. I saw the. Tre- oh, you did see him. I did see Trevor at Target once, and I was like, "Oh man, there he is! I already have him." They they only have a couple pegs for them at Target, right. and it, because the the um, what do they call the like Black Series figures? The Plasma Series for Ghostbusters. Yeah, those are gone. Those are done. Yes. I don't know if they even have peg space, but they. If you were trying to get those after Christmas, good luck, because they were gone. The the cartoonish figures, the fright features stuck around, but it's like the same figures. It's not being restocked. Right. So that eventually is going to fall off and they're And they're like so randomly, at least at my store, they're sandwiched between like Pixar and Jurassic Park. Yes. <laughs> like, yes, just randomly it's, it's one peg. It, that's just slightly a skew yeah. of everything else. Right. So I don't know. You're saying there's still product out there. Are they waiting for something? Is there going to be another announcement? I don't believe can... there is. I just probably they're probably just like, yeah, we bought what we could at the store level. Now they show up probably at big lots, show up at the, at the closeout stores. Yeah. Ross. 
Well, most likely Ross. We do like that. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye out for that. Going back to Turtles for a second, we we talked about a few weeks ago, there were leaked photos of a NECA glow in the dark um, muck man. Yes. And this apparently has been found in the target system. When you go over to the little scanner, Mm -hmm. apparently, I don't know people, not that they've hacked it, but they are able to access things in there without scanning something. Yeah. And it brings up a picture. It has a little default picture. So they have pictures of, of the, the muck man. Um, I think it was like 47 or 37, 40 bucks or so. Okay. Maybe more than that. Um, so that's coming soon ish. Eventually it's in the system. Yeah. I feel like there were other things in the system that never actually ended up coming out, but we'll see. Um, Muckman, the just the standard release, not not moving too not quickly. Moving so it'll all. be interesting to see. What do you think? You think it'll be the same package, but with a glow in the dark sticker on it, so nobody can tell the difference. Do you think the package uh, itself will be glow in the dark? I have a little bit of yeah. I do wonder if they'll get creative with it, or if this is just sort I would of hope a cash that they grab. Would. I would hope that they would. Yeah, I mean they usually do. Yeah. I'm trying to think if they've done any variants like this with other figures like a re-release super seven's done it a few times sure and they they did unique packaging but yeah. that doesn't mean anything in this case so something to keep an eye out on we could we could hear those showing up at target i haven't seen anything i'm still trying to get that frankenstein monster uh, frankenstein's monster Raphael. right but i can't find that it's elusive to me i'll just i, I always i'll just wait until target. they're all available yeah there you go and just I'll start grab them start adding like them to a pile Earth. of loot or Whatever you oh, do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just do that. Just sit on it. Sit on it. Sit on it, Potsy. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Did you see this whole hubba baloo with, with GameStop this week? I briefly saw a couple people commenting on some deep discounts or a promo code yeah. for their rewards members where, what was it, $15 off every figure? Every figure, system. yeah. So if you are, if you were one of the um, whatever their premium account is called, yeah. if you if you pay to be a premium member, you every figure you added to your cart, it would drop fifteen dollars off. So you know, if the figure is twenty dollars, you paid five dollars, and it counted yes. for pre orders and everything. So people were you know posting it everywhere. Everyone was taking advantage of this. Yeah. And of course, it was a mistake. Sure. And of course, GameStop is not going to honor. No, they it. So they, they, they out, hardly they, ever do. They hardly ever no. do. The days of companies honoring mistakes like this are are well gone. Yes. Like the first company that said no, <laughs> that pretty much ended it for everybody. Because right. because now they can po- point at any company that makes a pricing mistake and be like, listen, yeah, <laughs> we're not going to be the exception here. We're not going to give you a deal because some intern made a mistake on price. It's like it's like so it's like everyone changing up your cable service, threatening them with that for a lower rate. Right. It's not going to happen. Anymore. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to go buy my exclusives from another store. Well, you can. And it's an exclusive. Good day, sir. Um. So everyone got the email that said, we're sorry, you know, we've canceled it. We've given you your money back, <laughs> you know. Yes, of course, that's going to happen. It would be great if they gave you like a coupon or something. Right. Like, sometimes they'll do that at least, you know, for your tr- here's a little something. Yes, here's 15 percent off your, your next order. Yeah. Or like a five dollar coupon off twenty five. Yes. Just something. But no, nothing. Just an email that says, oops, sorry, you wasted some time of your day. You should have known better. Right. You know, you know, you can't you got to play to win. But uh, really, was it worth it? You know who we are. We're GameStop. <laughs> I just have I I had some bad experiences with GameStop. Sure. And I just I, like I just hope that there's not something that I have to go to them to get it's, like that would just it's always such a hassle because they they have no they have no I would say times attached to anything like moving through customers. So if you get behind somebody who's doing returns or exchanges you might be behind oh, yeah. somebody for like 20 minutes and it's just <laughs> one person working. When you're buying in, in store. Yeah. Oh my God. And then when they do, someone's trying to trade in a game. Yes. They have to go through this whole rigmarole. It right. takes forever. Right. Oh my God. Yeah. No, I, 
they don't even have them. Well, there's one in the mall. Sure. There used to be, I think there, oh, there used to be, what it was, a, there was like Geek, Geek Store, or what was oh, it, they had like was a it? sister the, store. The geek, the geek Store, or the Geek, yeah, yeah. Not, Nerd, Nerd Outlet, right, something like right. that. They had, they had that sister store next to a, a, a GameStop yes. in one of the like mall areas I would go to. So I would make, you know, an effort to go over there because it's like, kill two birds with one stone. They might have something. The other store was great. It was like the internet became a physical store. I really enjoyed uh, yeah. the nerd store. That I can't think of the name <laughs> of. Um, but that went away. And then it's like, it's just not worth it to go to GameStop because no. the figure section has, you know, slowly dwindled. Right. Now they have some pops. They do have exclusives like they have Power Ranger ex- exclusives. They have the whole Pink Ranger collection yeah. from last year. But yeah, it's just not it's not worth the effort. They're going to get into like there's going to be an NFT section soon. Yeah, uh, I I can see that happening. I (laughs) we're going to get down to the point where we need walk into a game to sell things that take up no space. (laughs) Yeah, I know that's that's sort of is that is that ironic that you have to go to a physical store to buy? I don't know. It's like it's like the uh, it's like the Pokemon, the Pokemon Snap printer. Oh yes, <laughs> go in and I, I loved Pokemon Snap. I did, did you too. play that back I in the did. day? Oh yeah, oh it was so much fun. It was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Is there is there a current version? I of believe that? there like is. Current generation. I think there's. I think there's a um, a Switch version of. Ooh. I don't believe you yeah, can I'm... print them, or at least they didn't come with a printer. But of course, there's ways. <laughs> there's ways to do it. Just print screen. Not that it matters. Like, why do I need this? It's on my phone. You can send it to send it to your your phone. I'm sure. Everybody's probably just streaming it. Just yes. take a screen grab of oh, man, Twitch or whatever. Pokemon Snap. A lot of fun. Just Oh, so much fun. No it pressure. Was such a unique thing. No pressure. It's it was like, just kind of like a walk right. through, like you just you had no yeah. control. It was just like, oh look. <laughs> Click. <laughs> yeah. And it would be a unique photo, like you'd catch it, it would at be. a different second. Yes. Yeah. It was almost like as close. It's as close as you can get to a first person shooter with Pokemon. I should get but that. I should just get that for the kids to play. Oh, sure. Because we have the yeah, I've got the N64 out. The original. Oh, you have it. The original. I don't have the game, but I have the N64 out. So yeah, I can just get the game. Go go to GameStop and get it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. No, I think at this point it's probably a pretty expensive game. Maybe you can get a bootleg version. Oh, there we go. Because I'll get it. everyone, everyone is very good at at making bootlegs of everything. Download, Someone will three D print it for an you. Emulator. Uh, so we're on we're on TikTok, and they TikTok has an algorithm that 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 decides what videos it shows you based on like how long you watch something, if you like something, who you follow. Yeah. So I get a ton of three D printing videos, oh. and it's friggin amazing what some people do oh sure they have figures that print complete with articulation built in like they're able to design in such a way the joints are already in well that's like the crazy. arms are already in there yeah i don't even understand how they do it is that like, like you can that... print out the four turtles and they're articulated is that like that rock squid i keep seeing pop up i have no idea what you're talking it's, about it's, rock squid it's a portrait of dwayne johnson oh the rock the rock yes, yeah. that's absolutely yes that's right and yeah he has all the tentacles articulated that are articulated tentacles. yeah okay yeah weird <laughs> it's so crazy what people can do i feel like we should get into this like i feel like and because 3d printers are not that expensive like 100 no. bucks you can get one so you can go to the library they have them yes but yeah i i'm amazed at the stuff people are doing and i can't wait until it's it's like so accessible that everybody's doing it and just like, you know, the the group brain is creating all of these things that people right. the toy companies won't do, but people want like I just want to print my own toys. I don't have to wait for supply chain issues yes. and all that stuff. Just just send me the file. I want That's it to be future. I want it to be perfect. That's the thing I want. I want the final product to be perfect. I don't want to have to do any other than other than snap it yeah yeah, other than snap it off of the form 
I don't. Oh, and that's great too. That's like ASMR stuff. Like this, when they peel it off right. of the little support for. Oh, uh, the support, uh, support forms are wild pieces. looking. It's almost it's yeah. so artistic. It's just. I know it's a it's it's, it's a like an it's art. a it's, it's a piece of art within it itself. Is, it is. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to 3D printing in that community. It's just it's very impressive. Oh, look, I'm looking at someone right here who's making Street Shark 3D printing. Oh, wow. It's so crazy. You can just be like, I would like this figure to have this. So I could go sculpt it. No, I could just print it up. Oh, someone already made the file. Just let me download yes. the file, print it out, done. And well, done. Technology. And done. Set it and forget it. Only getting better. Speaking of that, we there's this company, Bam Toy. Yes. They have they have gone back and they're filling in some of the holes for the real Ghostbusters line. Is that correct? Is that where they so became, they, yeah, they, uh, they find they find notoriety. themselves doing a lot of fil- they have Egon. They did Egon's lab uh, about two years yep. ago. Um, mm. They've done several of the real Ghostbusters villains. Okay, Sandman, yep. um, mm-hmm. Sam Haim, Sam Haim, the other, mm. who's the other one that I'm thinking of? Oh, I don't know. Headless Horseman, Pumpkin. No, no. He had the large mouth yeah. and the, the the goat legs. Oh, right. Yeah, I don't know the name. Yes, but you know who I'm talking about. Sure. And they do a lot of realistic style proton packs and things like that. So yeah, yeah, they've been they've been really trying to. I think even they're going towards making a firehouse at this point as well. Right. Yeah, that's like their ultimate goal yes. is to get enough people that'll that'll support that. So now they're doing something a little different. So this is interesting. They they uh, they showed off a a van yes. that is a collaboration it's an amalgam of turtles ninja yeah. turtles and ghostbusters so so it looks like the party wagon right. a little bit it's got that sort of aesthetic to it but then it's got a whole shelf of proton pack it's got the ghost on the front so 2022 is the year everybody gets a turtle van or everyone gets a crack at the turtle <laughs> everybody's van. trying to make the turtle van who's gonna make you know could you imagine like six more companies are going to put turtle vans out. And I want all of them. Sure. I want every one. I I like this one much more. <laughs> like, I know it's just it's just because it's so different, but sure. it's hilarious. It's got I don't know. They haven't as far as I know, haven't released a paint render. Right. So I don't know what colors they're going to choose, but it's got it's got the Cadillac wings like the Ecto one. Yes. It's got all the the kibble on top like the Ecto, but it's squat like the party van. So what figures? So it's compatible. They said it's compatible with the real Ghostbuster figures, but what? What turtle figures? Is it also compatible probably the, with the original? Probably the original Playmates. Okay. Those are probably about the same. So, size. so not the ones that. That Playmates put Super out seven. or Intel put out. No, the Ghostbusters Turtles crossover figures they made. Oh, that were no, awful. those are a weird scale. They those are, are like scale. very large. Yes, they are. Yeah, those are their own universe. Now, this is this is definitely supposed to be retro play, okay. like your original toys. Like these, there was a crossover episode, and this is the what this is like. Donatello made a special turtle yeah. man for this. Yeah, I think it looks really cool. I can't wait to see the color because that's really. You think they're going to do the yellow of the turtle van or they're going to do the white of the Ecto one? I'd imagine. Because that's really do. important. I think they do the white of the Ecto one. I think you got to do the white. Yeah, I think you got to do the white. I think because they'll otherwise make it, I think they'll it make it as true. It to doesn't form. look like Ghostbusters. Right. Not at all. Yeah. So I think I think no. they'll they'll nix all the orange and all the green. Yeah. Um, And make it completely original to the ecto one oh <laughs> even the top opens up like the party wagon toy right i've just got breaking news mcfarlane is also now doing a turtle van oh yes did the because the turtles appeared in that mortal Kombat game right right did they right sure <laughs> plus they also stood next to batman at one point sure who hasn't <laughs> remember when batman fought alien that was crazy Batman versus the Reluctant Adult podcast. Ah, uh, <laughs> we could take him. We know his weakness. They can never figure out what actor is going to play him. Oh, speaking of the Batman, you haven't seen it yet. Are no. you going to see the Batman? 
Potentially, potentially in the upcoming week. Okay, me as well. Um, great reviews. I've heard. Almost universally praised, and people are calling it the best Batman theatrical Batman. So right. it's not even like, oh, it was good. It's like, it was really good. Really good. <laughs> it was really good. Yeah. So I'm excited to see it. Sure. Three hours. Yeah. You gotta bring your... Uh, Bring your bladder, bring, bring your, your exercise coffee. bladder with you. I mean, that's the oh thing. So like I I was back and forth. So filming this obviously on Saturday, I was back and forth going to see it last night. But I was like, oh, I yeah. could only go see it at 1030. And then I was like, if I see Oof. it at 1030, I'm not getting home till two. Right. And that's not happening. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'd be so tired. Probably fall asleep. I wouldn't enjoy it. No. Yeah, I'm going to go on Tuesday. There you go. Tickets are half price. Yeah. Popcorn's half price. Hopefully be a, a dead theater. I don't need a theater reaction for anything. This I'm not expecting there no. to be any like, you know, like Captain America moments <laughs> where everyone's going right. to cheer in unison. I I just want to enjoy it. I heard it's good. I heard it's long. Everybody likes it. I just saw a post here. This is Batman was awesome. awesome. So watch. Watch me hate it. I'll, <laughs> I'll probably, be the one guy. I'll probably see it Tuesday like, night. Ah. If I see it at all, I'll probably see it Tuesday night. Yeah. So next week, we'll, we'll hopefully talk about it. Hopefully. We'll, maybe we'll be so excited, we'll be like wearing Batman masks. Have our, or our better late than never review. Yeah, right. Do you think I should go back and watch any of the like the Nolan Batmans to get in the mindset? Or is this this is so different? If it's so I different, I would stay away from it. I would stay away Just from going fresh. Go in fresh. Yeah. Yeah. You don't watch you don't That's watch the you don't watch the the, the Keaton Batman in order Honestly, to in order to prep for Batman and Robin and the, the Clooney Batman. Not not that not that you're prepping for it, but but when those movies were coming out, the Nolan movies, especially Dark Knight Rises, I was so in the bat mode. Oh sure. That those would play on like TNT or whatever, and I would sit through them and watch it. Yeah. Even though like, you know, it's not great or Yeah. <laughs> it's not great. It's not great. It doesn't hold up. It wasn't good at the time. But it's you just like I just wanted to consume Batman yeah. uh, media. It was, it was event filmmaking. Still is. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. Matt Reeves. Anything Matt Reeves did us. really well with that Planet of the Apes trilogy. So. Oh, yeah. Those were great. They too. were those. I, those I feel like are almost forgotten now that they're they're done. Right. Um, but they were very well done. Yeah. So I'm excited. Going to see it. Hopefully the kids cooperate and not be sick again this week. <laughs> Um, okay, so this you're not going to know what I'm talking about at all, but there's this company. Well, first of all, I'm I'm a wrestling fan. I've always been a wrestling fan. Um, not like a diehard collector of wrestling stuff right now, but like I have my favorites and we're going to talk about AEW reveals in a little bit. But before we get to that, one of the most important aspects of wrestling is the championship belts. This is the this is the thing that you strive to win if you are a wrestler. This is the thing that you need in your collection if you want to display your characters. You need to have your champion. My favorite championship belt of all time was the WWF at the time world title. And it's referred to as the winged eagle belt because the center plate has an eagle and I don't know why they call it Winged Eagle, because most eagles do have wings, mm -hmm. but it's called Win Winged Eagle. My favorite champions all held this belt. Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, even Hulk Hogan had it at one point. Uh, when Austin won the belt, he won the Winged Eagle. Then he transitioned to his own belt, and that was the end of the Win Winged Eagle belt. So that sort of tells you when the belt was uh, used. Yeah. So... Companies have made this this belt in toy for, form. The problem is the plates are very thin and the wing, the eagle wing goes above the leather. So it's very hard to make this as a mass market toy because it's going to break or it's not going to meet safety guidelines. Yes. So there is this company that is called Forbidden Figurines, and they have been 3D printing a lot of the championship belts that have existed and they use a facsimile leather for the strap. So this is about as realistic as you can get for an in scale toy belt. Okay. The problem with this company is it's basically one person 
hand painting every title. And then they have like a few people that work with shipping and stuff. But the turnaround time is so slow. Uh. And they the only way you could get the stuff was to be part of like a monthly club. And they would send you a random belt, whatever the new belt was. Yeah. But you couldn't like as someone that's not part of the club, you couldn't just get these figures or these belts. They did a drop of the winged eagle and I was able to get it. I set a timer on my phone to be able to go to the website as soon as it dropped. And I got it. I'm so excited. That's amazing. It's it hasn't arrived yet because it just happened yesterday. But this is like I am so excited for this to come in the mail because like this is going to really make me want to display certain wrestling figures again. Because I, I, Bret Hart is my favorite wrestler, but I don't like. We've talked about how Mattel like does not do a great job with his face sculpt, mm-hmm. but then the winged eagle belt is so chunky it doesn't look right. Putting this one around his waist, oh, I'm just thinking of all the poses. I'm gonna have him holding it up like he does over the shoulder. Yes. So I'm very, very excited to see these and get these. Good and um, yeah. So <laughs> it's a very. It's like when you have got your custom head for your your uh, Mandalorian oh, figure. Oh sure. It's like it totally revitalized that figure for you. Right. It's like now you want to display it. Yeah. So this is going to this is going to, I think, do the same thing for me and like certain characters. So it's like now I got to make sure that I have the characters in figure form that held this belt in there in that look so that I can display them somewhere because that's going to become a centerpiece of my collection mm-hmm. in some way. So very excited for that. Um, You've got them in there. Mattel Creations uh, ring. Yeah, whenever that comes, yes. I, I I forgot. I always forget that I ordered that, <laughs> that I supported that. So that's going to be a nice surprise it's ship in the and summer. You're be like, oh giant yeah, box. oh yeah. That's when you. That's when you pull out the uh, honey. I bought this two years ago. It's paid for. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't get. I don't get any of that flack because the toys I sold paid for our house. So oh, fair enough. <laughs> that's, I never. I mean, I don't know how long. I can I can get away with it, but that <laughs> for right now you're not we're good. going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's just continue on with wrestling. There's a big pay per view for AEW happening right here in Orlando Ooh. tomorrow Sunday. Today they did a fan fest at the the Amway Arena. Um, Jazzwares, the company that makes the AEW figures, showed off a ton a ton of new figures, almost. Almost every character, almost every wrestler that works for AEW will have a figure based on uh, the reveals today. There were a few notable exceptions, and that that has to sting for the, for those guys because there's some guys that have been there since day one that still won't have figures. Yeah, and, and then you got guys coming in like Brian uh, Brian Danielson, Adam Adam uh, Cole, Adam Cole, baby, and they're gonna get figures before these guys that have been there since day one, hmm. but. They're bigger names. They're going to sell more figures. They're going to carry the the load of that line. Yeah. Um. I I sent you I sent you a couple of pictures. You did of, of wrestling figures. The first one, Street Fighter flavored figures of the Young Bucks and um and um. <laughs> you ever blank? You ever blank on a name? All the time. What is his name? What is your name? I forget that too sometimes. My name is Bob. What the hell? He was a Kenny Omega. All right, let me say that again. So I sent you some pictures. There were the Street Fighter flavored AW figures. You had the Young Bucks as Ken and Ryu. And then you had Kenny Omega as somebody. I don't know. I don't know who he's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> he's got pink hair. I don't really know. He's kind of doing um, this with his hands. You... Ooh. Yeah, he's getting a fireball ready to go. Yes. Did you get you the other picture? Did you get the next picture? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes. Can you explain as detailed as possible what I, what the picture is? As detailed as possible. We have a woman. <laughs> okay. So Wearing I didn't purple. send you the crop version. Look, look at the look at the side view. Yes. Look at the set. Even more so. Look at the, the, the figure in red. Britt Baker. Look at the side view. Oh, I didn't what, get that. I didn't get that you. photo. Oh, there's Britt Baker. Okay. Yeah. What jumps Doctor, out at you? Dr. Britt Baker. Do- Dr. Britt Baker. Because she is a dentist. Uh, there's really no polite way to say it, say this. They gave these figures absolute dump trucks. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> this, true. 
there wow. that is just did pixar design these because that is just that is something else these figures i kind of want this if this is, gonna, this is i kind of want this figure <laughs> Are they going to package them in reverse backwards in the packaging? Because they put a lot of detail. Yeah. <laughs> they spent a lot of that. extra I'm going to buy that figure for my son so he can play with that instead of the savage He-Man figure that he's been playing with. For there so you go. Long. Wow. Yeah. I so miss this. This isn't even figure. like, this isn't even like accurate. <laughs> No, I can't just imagine. decided they just decided that this figure is going to have an absolute badonka Do <laughs> so, the does the talent get like a veto at, at this point? Like, can they say maybe they can they say they get the no, opposite no, of no, that? They get like me. one they get one like feature added. <laughs> Some of them are like, oh, I, can you get my gear like specific? And they're like, no, I just want an absolute giant rear end can when you, is this fi- when is me? this figure coming out who the hell knows i need it <laughs> probably I this need it year in my life you need this in your collection i have i have four four wrestling figures and 100 mm-hmm. percent of them are all sting sure i do need this Britt baker figure there you go i need yeah. it I'm going to put it right next to uh, uh, mrs fantastic yeah <laughs> whatever she's called all of the well-endowed ladies. I'm going to it's, get it's a just removable stormtrooper helmet and just put it over her head. So it's just fits right in with the rest of the Star Wars stuff. What? I don't know. <laughs> just think far. I don't know what thinking of ideas, about. how I can integrate mm-hmm. it into my collection and it seems uh-huh. seamless. Yeah. Mm hmm. You, you can make customs and give the lower body to all of your other figures. There you go. Yeah, so that's that probably is the most most noteworthy um, thing that come out of the Jazzwares reveals today. Yeah, uh, they, I mean a lot of figures. A lot they got Taz, who is like a modern day Taz, who's an announcer now. The thing I love about the AEW figures that they do, I think, better than Mattel, is they give characters very unique sculpts. They sure. they reuse parts. But when it when when it is called for, they they do make the unique sculpt, which I think is so important in creating this universe of of unique talents. Because I was at I was at a toy fair once, and and Jeremy, who who ironically does th- these AEW figures, at the time he was doing WWE for Jax, and he was explaining like, oh, you know, there's only so many different body types. Like even compare like you and me and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So like the with when you collect wrestling figures in in the last 10, 15, 20 years, you just sort of became accustomed to there being like three, three torsos that yeah, are shared so a lot of amongst every single figure. Yeah, of course. And I always hated that because characters like Randy Orton has a very specific look to his yeah. body. And it's like you make so many of these figures based on these characters you can't you can't make a mold that looks like this character. Well, that's where we find ourselves with Marvel Legends now. It's so much yeah. reuse and re yeah, reuse so of much. the buck yeah. of the, the figure. Right. And then at least they keep updating and making better articulation. True. Like the with the Spider-Man that was originally based on something else. And then there's like people always want the next Spider-Man because it's always going to have the updated torso mold and like better articulation, having the hidden pegs and the arms. Yes. So at least there Hasbro is willing to to keep keep reinventing the wheel and not just like good enough. We can just we can just go here. So a little extra credit to uh, uh, Hasbro. Mattel has been a little bit better about making new molds. They have this Ultimates line for the WWE and they've had to, those had to be all new molds from the start. Some of the characters are, are sharing molds that make them look much larger than they should be. Mm-hmm. So that's not great. So speaking of that, Jazzware at AEW, they're doing their own ultimate line of more like a higher price end, higher price tag figure. Theirs are going to be called Unrivaled Supreme. And the very unique thing that they are doing is we've seen figures come with alternate hands, alternate heads. These figures are going to come with alternate legs. Oh, wow. So you can swap because the torso is going to be the same between versions of a character or versions of the same character. Yeah, that's that goes without saying. But they wear different pants. They wear different tights. So basically, 
you're going to get a two one one figure and you're going to have an extra pair of legs hanging around <laughs> and then like entrance gear, cloth shirt or something to create unique looks. Oh, fun. So no word on how much of these are going to cost. The WWE Ultimates cost $30, which is $10 more than the Elite line. So these could be $30. They could be a little more. There, there was an internal memo that went out from Mattel saying that the elites are going to go from 20 to 25 at some point this year. So all of those prices are going up. Gas is four dollars a gallon right now. So I hope you're, uh, you know, paying a little extra for toys is um, not quite the sacrifice when you think about what else is going on in the world. But uh, still, it hurts. It stings. And, and yes. it, we're going to have to make decisions about what we collect, we can collect everything. If it's a build figure line, do you go to eBay to get stuff? Right. True. That's it. That's just something that you're going to have to decide as a collector. Oh. So I've been collecting. I think you can see them behind me. The which way is it up here? The this, the comic inspired Star Wars pops. Yes, you've seen these, right? I have. So these are very cool. I don't have a ton of pops. Actually, I do have a ton of pops, but comparatively, I don't have a ton because they're, right. they make so many. I don't have any Star Wars pops, but I really liked the uniqueness of these. They have like the cell shaded or, you know, painted lines. Um, there's four of them. So I was I found two in stores and then I had to track down the other two on Target.com. So I got 3PO from target.com. It comes the plastic corner was crushed mm -hmm. and I keep these in the box. So that that was no bueno. I wasn't going to be able to live with that. No, of course not. And it's not like it was crushed in shipping. It, it was put in the box, put put bubble wrap around it. Yeah. It was just that condition. Punched a couple times. Yeah, somebody squeezed it, like picked it up, picked it up by the corner. Not going to work for me. So I ordered another one. Here's the thing. It's not like these are readily available. I had to set an in-stock alert oh. for Target to send me a pop-up message and then click it. Like if I waited for the email, which comes after the pop-up, yes. it would be gone. Because it's like they put one in stock and then like whoever gets it first gets right. it. Right. Uh, that was something that happened with the Arvala 7 Mandalorian. Yeah. Like you do have to set that notification and get your the alert on your phone and just be faster than anything that you can think of. Because you have the only time it works for me is if I'm already on my phone and I see the drop down yes. alert. It's like I have to already be in the action. I of love pressing it. that see, thing. See, I I was doing that with the with that Mandalorian figure, and that's almost like the new way. That's like the new Midnight Madness for me at this point. Oh, yeah, is like <laughs> trying to get through the motions as fast as possible. Right, right. It's like getting concert tickets or, or oh, anything. Yeah. There's yeah. there's a finite number of them. Yeah, I deal with this with the target burbs, too, because those especially last year when the Halloween's ones were in stock. Yes. They would like it must have put up one bird at a time <laughs> because but and they would always go up at 2 a.m. Right. So I'd wake up and see that I missed an alert. And of course they were gone. by Right. Now. And the other thing, if you if you miss the alert, it shuts the alert off for you. Right. You have to know to go back in you have to know to go back yeah. in and turn the alert yeah. back on, which is just like, are you for real? <laughs> but it's great. So I so I ordered a second 3PO, but I wasn't like there's no there's no certain you can't be certain that it's going to come in pristine condition. I can't get them. Very so true. Even though, so even though I ordered one, I set that alert again. Yes. And they another one came in stock, and I got that one too. So I had one come, and it was fine. It was good, it was in good condition. But another one was still coming. I had to. I wanted to return the one, the first one. Mm -hmm. So I returned that. Actually, I set. I was gonna. I went through the app, and I said, I want to return this. And they're like, Okay, we'll print out this UPS sticker and i'm like no i'm not gonna do that i'll yeah. just drop it off at the store so i dropped it off to the store then i later i look at the app and the one that it says it returned is the one that hadn't arrived yet oh so i was concerned that they thought that i returned the one that i didn't oh, even have sure, yet yeah. and then that, that one wasn't going to come <laughs> so it's like i basically paid three times for two things there you go thankfully today that third one did show up even though i don't need it yeah. So I'm going to send that back. But also Vader came to complete the set. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, he was more messed up than the first three. Oh, no. So I have him up there right now, but I have another one coming. Oh, that's good. So 
but if it, he goes in stock again, I'm ordering it again. I'll I'm just going to keep ordering keep them until I get the best one. They haven't been too popular up here. Oh, really? Yeah, I've seen every wow. single one of them. I saw multiples of 3PO. Multiples. Yeah, if I had known I... that you were having such such problems, <laughs> I would have. Hopefully, the, of the next two, well, I guess I only have one Vader coming. Yeah. Hopefully, it's okay. Um, if you do find a great Vader, definitely pick it up okay. just in case, and then you can always return it later. But yeah, I I like these a lot. I want to have them in good boxes. Of course. So, the other weird thing about them is... Actually, let me. I'll I'll get three pro to show this. Okay. So this is the one I'm returning. If you look at the top where the plastic holds his head in, it's it's smooth. There's no like cor- correlated lines, mm-hmm. corrugated lines. The other three have like stripes in the plastic built into the plastic. Oh. And then the other thing that's different about 3PO is this line, this border, the stroke around the edge yeah. is so much thicker than the other three. Oh, man. So I don't know why 3PO is so much why is he... more different than the other figures. But it, as I would like with OCD about my collection, it really kind of bothers it's, me. Yeah. You, you assemble them all together and then there's this one that just looks yeah. out of place. And I'm like, is it like a printing error? Was it off? offset but no it's the same on both of them so i think it's just it's just how it is 100 years from now when they dig all this stuff up it's going to be like pokemon cards and how the the right. logo on the back is off center slightly and it's got to be yeah, yeah it's going to be the pikachu without the shadow yeah, is worth so much be, it's going to be paul's c3po with the bold border <laughs> yeah i can't have that no i want to piggyback I'm... on your thoughts about about your okay. pops here you had asked if mm-hmm. I had anything for the week, and I did think of one thing. So Walmart finally shipped their, uh, what are they calling those? Collectors? Collectors events? So they had a collector's event. It's yeah. almost like a collector's con. So right. they have oh, them right. every so yeah. often. So they dropped a bunch of vintage collection figures in Clone Wars style based off the old Clone Wars cartoon yeah the uh was it the jendy tarkovsky right uh, right, cartoon that came out the traditional animation back in back in 2005 so Mm -hmm. those started coming this week i am always a pessimist with walmart um packing and conditioning (laughs) so i now i only order two of every figure from walmart Right. So a lot of people sending photos out on social media this week. Walmart yep. still doing the envelope game, stuffing stuffing figures in, bendable cards. I was like, don't give a f- you don't you you forget about it until it happens again. Yeah. So we like you right, and you're like, oh, da, 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 da. you're going about your business. Oh, my stuff shipped, and then you're like, oh no, it was from Walmart. Ooh. So oh. of course people are getting their uh and you're rolling you're rolling the dice. You don't you don't know what, yeah. what you're gonna get. So thankfully no. mm-hmm. my stuff arrived on Thursday. All in boxes. Yay! All mint. With the exception like of one. A one was it one was in an envelope, and Oof. the other figure saved saved. Like he created a figure shield around the other oh. figure. Like he nice. sacrificed his mint condition. He jumped on that grenade. Yes, yeah. he sacrificed his mint condition in order to to save one clone trooper. I don't feel like this was always a problem. And I feel like no. it began with the retro real Ghostbusters. Like that's yeah. when people started to get stuff in envelopes and the right. figures were just destroyed. Well, I think people I think it's just gone so far. It's just like people trying to collect for an investment and yeah. then this line, especially vintage collection has been going on for so long. And there's no guarantee that you'll find the figure either in store or again on right. the website yeah. that it might be your yeah. only chance of getting it. Yeah. And sure. if you wreck the card or the card comes broken, you might have to resort to the secondary mar- market and have that markup. Yeah. So yep. there's a lot of stress involved in this. <laughs> It is that toy anxiety For we always talk about. Stupid cardboard. But I again, the, the I look at it and I could probably put it. I could put a down payment on the house with the collection. There you is, go. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. But you won't. 
<laughs> you want to keep them. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you have do you have collectible insurance? I don't, but I should get it. You probably should. Yeah, especially living somewhere where there are a lot of elements. True. Like, I don't I don't know. If, like the window could smash and right. the snow could come in. So I Frosty, know I know messes up your collection. I know my collection. My wife rolled it into the homeowner's insurance. I think. Yeah, but I think that only covers so much. Oh, OK. It's like you need to go get specific collectibles insurance and then go through with a camera. Like oh, my goodness. Camera, Can you imagine? And document <laughs> everything? Because if you have to get if you have to collect on it, you have to prove that you had these things True. and the condition oh my there. God. I'd, I'd, I'd start I'd yeah. start I'd get like a day in and then I'd be like, I want to start using these pictures to sell on eBay because I can't keep this. <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd be funny. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how they prove had, that you had, had it the at opposite the time effect of the accident. Well, that might be good. Yeah. Maybe you can sell it to your wife that way. <laughs> I sent you a link to a new Mego styled figure earlier this week. Did you get a chance to look at that? I believe I did. Was it Batman Beyond? Batman Beyond. Uh, yes. Wearing an app. He's just wearing a, a trash bag. He like, looks like he's wearing a spade a spade. He looks like he's wearing the um that old like if he was wearing a batman costume from the 80s like that plastic <laughs> yeah that plastic yeah. costume with a that picture pleather. picture of himself on on the, the right plate like he's like yeah i'm yeah. i'm he man can't you tell oh it looks awful for for a character that's supposed to be so slick this yes. just looks yeah this, this just is disgusting this was not the the right choice of character for Migo to pick up no he does just look like he bad <laughs> He put it, it together. So funny to me. He put it together to go to a drunken frat party. It looks like he's wearing a Catwoman costume from Batman Returns. Yeah, like that, like a Halloween costume, right? For that, right, right. And then he's got he's got some black rain boots on, <laughs> and then he stapled some red some red wings to himself because it's funny because the sleeves you know, come up here. Yes. But then he's just got hands popping out. Right. So it's not like even like a glove situation. Right. He's just it's like he's wearing a wearing a costume like. Yeah. A very and bad. And the Halloween belt costume. is so chunky. It's very, very strange. And, you know, all Mego figures are strange to a degree. They are. But this was this was a weird choice. This was a weird. I think one. just the material. I mean, you know, you got to imagine you're working with that much that much soft goods. Yeah. That you have it in your catalog. To change it up a bit and go with a a thinner, almost like material that can hug a little bit better to get that yeah. form. I guess they wanted it to be shiny or like, I don't even Again, know. Again, they can but... do that with fa different fabrics. <laughs> they don't need to use the fabric that they had here. Yeah, but they did. And that's that's what we get. I mean, <laughs> I'm not buying it. Sorry, I got that, that McFarlane one. And with 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 despite that, it has really bad ankles it's it's an all right figure somebody made a joke post and they photoshopped a spider-man and it's like an oh yes that mcfarland's doing spider-man and they made it way too big and they gave it the balls on the, the balls wrist on the wrist the very tiny it head. was just the the it was right just up. perfect like I exactly think, what it would look like i think the write-up which if you read it in todd's voice was the best yeah. i think that that really sold it for me because it had all the buzzwords that he uses, all right. the all the descriptions and everything like that. Oh my god, <laughs> it's too funny. <laughs> it's like he's doing he's doing some good stuff with these Batman figures, yes. but there are just these little things that he shouldn't do that just just always 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 sort of taints the figure yeah, for me. Keeps you from buying it. Yeah, unless it's I'm really marked down. <laughs> right. There, I mean, I I have several of his figures. Like, I do really like this one. This is the the Joker's Batman or whatever. Yes, that is a good one. This is this is my favorite Batman that I have right now. My son's favorite um, Batman. It's great. I wish the underoos were painted, but that's based. I mean, that's the fault of the source material, not mm -hmm. McFarlane. Can't blame that on him. Um, somebody had a they did like a a video showing. They he took the new figure from the Batman, the Robert Pattinson figure. Yes, and he, he clipped off the cape, and then he gave it a fabric cape, 
it looked very nice. Oh, wow. and I think the capes that McFarlane does are good. Yep. But just the you know you can't the fabric is just so much better. And then you can right. pose it because it's got that armature in it. It's just very nice. I'm not I'm not sure what it would take for somebody to a company to to finally like a mass market company to finally do fabric capes. But I think that would be a game changer. Just start a company that makes just capes. Capes a plenty. Yeah. I think there is like on Etsy, you know, <laughs> somebody's capes. out there just making these capes for everybody. Capes for They're all definitely going to have to make a spawn cape for that spawn. throne spawn. 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 So finally tonight, we got to talk about Lego. We don't talk about Lego too much on the no, show, but they did something this week that's that's noteworthy. Um, they are going to release a force ghost of Qui- Qui-Gon. And the way that they decided to <laughs> represent him as a ghost is not to cast all the pieces in a translucent blue, which is what you might expect. Instead, they just took a normal living Qui-Gon and they created a uh, two halves of a, a blue sh- uh, shell yes. and just Looks stick like them a together. Very ah, it's a force bubble. goes. Ah. Very warped. Bubble. Right. Yeah. So that's uh, people are not loving that decision. <laughs> no, <laughs> sort of people usually are pretty much on Lego side, but not in this case. I think people I think a lot. I think so. I had to look up what you were talking about. And this is a gentleman yeah. that went into full detail of all the other options that they could they could move towards in order to make this mm-hmm. figure, whether it be just colored plastic for the figure and yeah. just doing yeah. it in the blue or translucent and then adding that tampo sticker to it. Mm-hmm. Lots of different options. <laughs> so a lot of choices. This is what they decided. <laughs> why um, are we getting not done? Why are we getting a Qui-Gon's ghost? That's also a good question. Is that a spoiler? Is that for is that a spoiler <clears throat> for Obi-Wan? Yes. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure it will be. It's not I mean, that would be. I don't know no, that. I think if that was true, if it was a spoiler, this picture would not still be on the Internet. So I don't know where it came from. I'm I'm assuming it's real. It's on the Lego subreddit. Yeah, so but Qui Gon was real. never a Force ghost. That's why I'm I'm having issues with this. Oh damn! Never. You, we just uncovered something here. So have they ever done Force ghost Legos in toy form? I I can't think of it. I mean, I'd have to imagine at some point they yeah. have. But I'm looking on Google. I'm not seeing. Nothing. Okay. I'm not You'd have to see it, it like there. I don't think there's been many indoor. There have been plenty of indoor battle play sets, but like no celebration indoor play set. Yeah. You know, realistically, they're, they're supposed to be like little mini action figures. So what's anyone going to do with the force ghosts? Well, I guess you could make anyone a force ghost. Right. It's like in that case. Do you wish Luke was dead? All right. There you go. You wish <laughs> you wish Finn was dead. How about Poe so Dameron? 3PO yeah. had the force this whole time. Oh my gosh. What about that Gamorrean guard that got ate by the Rancor? Do you believe he could have become a force ghost? I mean, if Han Solo can come back as some sort of ghostly figure, then it <laughs> opens it up to anybody. Oh. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything for a previous Fair enough. force ghost I mean, figures, I've got more so. questions about the Qui-Gon force ghost because the only time sure. he... Uh, Liam Neeson returned to do voiceover work for a Clone Wars episode, mm-hmm. but he didn't manifest as a force ghost to Yoda. He was just the voice. <sighs> you bring up a good point, and it, it, it seems like all of this discussion is how they don't like the toy. Yeah, but it, it's a good point. He doesn't appear in in the media as a ghost, so... Maybe it's maybe it's we were talking about last week about the novel for The Last Jedi where Luke. uh, Had a vision of his him being married, maybe Qui-Gon in the Phantom Menace novel back in 1999 had a vision of him being a force Mm -hmm. ghost. Hmm. Can you imagine poor Qui-Gon Jinn? I mean. The end of it, they're all just standing there watching his body burn. Right. I probably smelled. That's all I can think of now. <laughs> Speaking of Yellowstone, um, there you go. we finished we finished season three. We're waiting for season four to drop on Peacock. At the yeah, end 
that last episode holy shit what uh like, what an ending just crazy shit like they had rip ba- unburying digging up his mom's grave so he could take the ring off her decrepit hand yes. like what the hell was that if, if that's the was craziest that be a touching thing, moment because it was the craziest thing that you pulled from that then sure <laughs> Well, I mean, everyone, everyone at this point can be presumed dead. Sure. Like everyone had their own little individual yes. <laughs> explosion or gunfire or fell off a horse. I think Jimmy's OK. If any of them are dead, it's not Jimmy. Yeah. Um. But I just like that was so and like they kept they, the way they framed the shot where you saw like the, the decomposing face of the mother. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he I was like, I, Mom, I found a lady. I glanced right over that. I didn't even. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I I was like, what is happening? Lo- tight shot of her green hand. <laughs> well, I thought there were gonna be bones cracking when he took the ring off. The one question I had about Rip, um, yeah, that whole series because she asks at one point she asks how much money he made or whatever. It didn't sound like he got mm-hmm. paid a lot his whole life. No, they get four hundred dollars and then they get room and board. I mean, maybe he got more. How do you how know about the four hundred dollars? Where'd he? What they say it at one point because because they talk about money when new people come on. Oh, really? They're like four hundred. You make four hundred a week. For, oh, four hundred a week. Oh my god, I gotta go tell Anne. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, at least I think so. I'm gonna get gotta get back to that. I'm amazed she doesn't know that. Yeah. Wow. She was even going on like on like glass ceiling and whatnot to. <laughs> To see the Yellowstone Ranch? No, no, pay. just to see what a, like a typical ranch hand earns. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But it's all under the table, so they don't have to pay taxes on True. it. True. I imagine Rip doesn't have an identity, so it's not like no. he has, can have a bank account he's or got, social. He's got six shirts and one pair of boots. The funny thing, he was in... Um, he That actor has done a lot of stuff. He, it, yes. And, he he looks like a totally different person when he takes the hat off. He was like, in so yeah, my wife my tough. wife can't handle it. My wife can't handle it. So he when was he has the hat off. Yeah, he was in what is it? Was it yeah. school ties? The one they filmed he, down at the corner store in our old neck he of the was woods in, in Groton. What was Rippin? Goodwill hunting. Goodwill hunting is what he yes. that's like yeah. Is that what you're thinking of? No, no. Else? You know the you know the corner green store in our old neighborhood, right? Do you remember that one? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. there was a movie called, I think it was called School Ties. He's in that. Oh, okay. And they filmed, they filmed that in location in Groton. So. Mm. Not as intimidating. No, no, no. Hat. My, my wife not, definitely not prefers much. the beard, it, the sunglasses it just, it and the hat. It's like a different fellow. He does. Yeah. 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 Got to keep that stuff on. Crazy show, though. I can't wait. I can't wait to get to the next season. I don't mind the little break, though. There you go. Let it decompress. <laughs> Let it all sink in. Do what my wife does and just start watching it over again. Breaking no. it down. I we I have a real hard time, unless it's The Office <laughs> or New Girl or something you can just have on, but you don't need sure. to pay attention to. I have a hard time investing time to rewatch anything. I could never watch Breaking Bad again. I think no. we've tried. I watched it once. Dense. I watched it once again. And that was yeah. enough. To, have you watched Better Call Saul at all? No, we couldn't get into it. I don't uh, know. You couldn't. Maybe it's, someday. It's but, slow. It's mm, slow. It really does yeah. pick up, though. But I can I can see why. Yeah. Next pandemic. My wife's big thing is trying to track down how old Beth is in the continuity and how long the four seasons take over the course of time. Well, they skipped right over winter because they were like, oh, you know, we got to prepare for winter. And yeah. then there never was winter. So I guess you just don't show that part. You don't because it costs too much money, even though they to shoot in the snow. So the the Walking Dead is on its 11th season. They didn't get to a winter episode with actual snow until I believe the 10th or the ninth season. What show? The Walking Dead. Oh, OK, because it's still on. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Good for you. It's wrapping. Do up. They still do the after show. Uh, yeah, it went like completely virtual. So, hmm. well, just like everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> anything else for this week? I don't have anything else. I talked about my my Star Wars figures, which was my big win for the week. So, yeah, I love getting stuff that's not damaged. Yeah. Target. Got a, Target. Yeah, we'll see what Target brings. because I, I ordered the Hobgoblin 
for the the retro line off oh, of yeah. them. You got him. But I also I also pushed in some of those Disney Zuru balls, the mini brand the balls. Balls. So Let's I talk about those so quickly. Those haven't those haven't come yet, but hopefully you, hopefully you did someplace. very well I, for yourself. I did. What you did get. You got a gold. Which gold? Did I you got get? two golds. Woo! Uh, I got the I think the mini phone and the Spider Man. Spider Man. Yes. Yeah. So I am at the point where I have at least half of the available items. Yeah. So I don't think it makes sense to buy any more of the blind balls. Because my odds of getting repeats right. are, are much higher now. So I think if I want to complete the collection or get, I just want Buzz. Yeah. I just want a damn Buzz Lightyear. That's the whole point of this. So I think I'm going to have to end up like buying it off of the Facebook group or something, which is no fun. I want to, I want the excitement of opening the ball and getting, he's probably, he's probably up in that one up there that I'm not going to open. Oh. It's probably, it's probably five Buzz Lightyears in there. Open it right now. Open it live. Nope. Yes. Nope. I'm not gonna do it. Come on! It's my time. It's my time. You can get another one. Time. What is it? Time casket. Is What's your time the, capsule? What's the capsule? <laughs> time go. casket. He's my time, time casket. Time casket. Yeah. When I die, I'm gonna put all this stuff in the casket and bury <laughs> me with it. There's a. Do you remember my, my... back back in the day, Nickelodeon did a time capsule, yeah. and they buried it like in Universal Studios, but then they had to move it because <laughs> then it stopped being. Nickelodeon at Universal, right? So that sort of took away all of the charm. Oh. Of I don't know if they ever opened it. There's like a cassette in there, probably. There's some gack. <laughs> there was some gack. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't dare put something biodegradable in there. Put some phloem in there, whatever it was. Oh, phloem. Remember phloem, phloem was weird because you couldn't do anything you with it. You couldn't, oh my like, god, build. no. But it was fun because it was like little styrofoam balls. But it would dry out too. Remember, it would dry out yes, and just be it like, and it would it smell bad. It, it smelled yeah. bad to begin with. Gack smelled bad. We, Gak but gak that you container, can make fart sound. the container of gak. Mm. Do you remember that? Like a, just that shape, a star, like a soft, yes. soft star. Yes. Yeah. I had the glow in the dark gak. That was great. Ooh, it fancy the was it the black? It was. Yeah, I don't think I got. I went that far. I don't know that. I, I mean, I'm. I definitely had floam. I definitely. I had, had one container of floam, and it it didn't do what you wanted it to do. No, because they marketed it as Play-Doh. Like you can form it and yes. use cookie cutters and stuff. But no, it didn't work at it all. Didn't, and it dried out very quickly. And then it would, it was almost yeah. kind of like dealing with marshmallows. So you'd, you'd pull away and there'd be residue of the foam <laughs> yeah. on your hands. Yeah. It probably ruined carpets. <laughs> Ugh. No, that was just what ectoplasm ruined carpets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't play with it out here. <laughs> Stain. I. When I go when I go home from my brother's wedding, I'm gonna deconstruct my play or the uh, firehouse and bring it home. There you go. And it's all crusted with slime. Hey, like you keep that slime. I'm gonna have to peel it off. Oh yeah, no, that's right. I'll just keep it on because I can smell it. It's like scratch and sniff. There you go. Yeah. Try to rehydrate it so you can can it back up again. Ooh yeah, and put it in a toaster. Yes. All right, everybody. Well, you know what we say. We don't want to grow up, but we already did. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, everyone.